guys, it's me, Christina Marie. So, uh, I thought I would turn on my camera on my phone and show you guys how to do a natural organic makeup since I'm cooking here in the kitchen. I'm making a beef sweet potato uh, uh, soup for my family. But let me show you guys what this uh, beet looks like. It's kind of dark, so let me pick it up. This is a raw beet. And beets in the uh, beauty industry are known to have the most pigment. Um... That's just an example. All I did was grab it and pick it up. So actually a lot of these dyes uh, that we find in lipsticks and things like that come from items like this for example. And what I did is I was just peeling the outside layer of the beet and you can see here that's what it looks like. But you can always take uh, the beet and use it. Look at how pigmented that is as makeup especially for you girls who have sensitive skin towards chemicals or certain cosmetics no reaction whatsoever with this because it's a hundred percent natural this is just the skin you can keep buy a beet keep it forever chop it up in little bitty pieces and just apply it like this look at the difference with and without and obviously, the longer, or the more you put it on, the more pigmented it will be. Uh, so this would actually, like, I would wait and then uh, let it dry and then put another one. You can, honest, you can actually use it in your cheek area as well as a blush. And that is how, look, look how red, look, I'll, leave him, I'll put more. I can take this as red as I want it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tip. This is just a beet that you get at the grocery store. Cut it, slice it, use the, the peel of it. Obviously when you're applying it, put some gloves on. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed my, my organic, natural makeup ideas. Um, guys have any comments post a comment on my facebook or youtube send me a friend's request all the links will be down below because you guys know i have an old school friends book uh page and look at how pretty that is so i'm christina marie i'm out bye oh guys and i did forget to mention um when you're doing a natural makeup like this using a beet you could also use a cherry that the fragrance is oh so yummy and like just to lick the juice is like delicious so the trick though is not to be licking your lips because you don't want the stain to come off but uh, that was just a tip it does smell so delicious and you can eat this after you've applied it to your face well in if your face is clean so <laughs> christina marie i'm out bye